The Lakato Guitar Hanger, a $15, currently $12, locking hanger. Is it worth it? And more importantly, how much weight can it hold? We're gonna find out. What is up everyone, Man Bun Metalhead here. Lakato contacted me a while back asking if I wanted to do a review of their guitar hanger. I thought, well, it's just a guitar hanger, but I like to do weird experiments, so why not hang some heavy things on one? Lakato agreed and sent me two. Want to see more weird experiments? Like and subscribe. Before I go any further, as I mentioned, Lakato did send me two hangers, but this in no way will affect my review. This is a locking guitar hanger and it goes for $15 on Amazon, but currently they have a 20% coupon, which makes it $12. It comes in two flavors, natural or black. The black version is more of a walnut color. Not bad looking, but certainly not black. I do prefer the natural look myself. When you open the box, you'll get a mounting block with yoke cradle, the locking yoke, which I have to admit is much beefier than I expected, and an installation template, a set of screw in drywall anchors, I hate these things, don't use them, and a baggie with mounting screws and proper drywall anchors. Aside from the rugged looking yoke, the thing that stood out to me was how easy the yoke was to install into the cradle. Insert and turn 90 degrees. The yoke will have about 15 degrees or so of movement side to side. If you want to remove it, push in, rotate 90 degrees and pull out. Taking a closer look at the components, the mounting block is simple. It has two mounting holes and the cradle yoke is inserted into the block. It can be pressed out, but is held in securely once it's mounted. The yoke has two paddles on the end of each fork that turn and prevent the guitar from coming out once you put weight on it. The majority of the outside of the yoke is plastic, aside from the stem, which is metal, probably aluminum. There's either padding or soft rubber on any area of the yoke that will touch the guitar. Looking at the inside of the yoke, any weight bearing piece is metal and everything else is plastic. Overall, the fit and finish of the hanger is good, but not perfect. There are some machine marks and tear out on the mounting blocks, but nothing to be of concern. The black mounting block I received has a small indentation on it and the natural block has some drips in the finish. There were also some small indentations on the rubber where the back of the neck would contact the yoke. These are really minor imperfections, but I can't do a review without finding something wrong. Installing this hanger is just like installing any other guitar hanger. I'm not going to go into all the details, especially because the walls in my studio are concrete. So I install the hanger onto a wood block that is mounted to the wall and I use one of the holes from an already installed hanger. I will say that using the template can be helpful and I'd highly recommend using the gray wall anchors, not the screw in ones, they are garbage. You'll typically need a 3 16 inch drill bit for the gray anchors. Once the hanger is installed, hanging the guitar is no problem. The safety pedals flip up and down without any issues. The yoke is wide enough to fit any of my guitars, even my bass, seven string electric and 12 string acoustics. The yoke will easily adjust the angle to match the headstock. Because the yoke is so wide though, it doesn't always sit perfectly level with symmetrical headstocks, especially if you didn't put the headstock right in the middle. Not a big deal at all, but if you're neurotic, it might bother you. Of course, I needed to know if I could confidently trust that a $15 locking guitar hanger could safely hold my guitars. What better way to do that than use some weights? I would not recommend doing this experiment at home. First of all, how much does a electric guitar weigh? I know Les Pauls are notorious for being heavy and after doing some research, it looks like the heavier Les Pauls are going to weigh about 12 pounds. Your average guitar will probably weigh somewhere around eight pounds. I did take a look at electric bass guitars as well and they will also max out around 12 pounds. Using an adjustable weight dumbbell, I started with five pounds. The hanger didn't seem to notice. Adding two and a half pounds at a time up to 12 and a half pounds, the hanger was just fine as expected. Obviously it can hold any guitar with ease. Why well, stop there? Adding even more weight, two and a half pounds at a time until I got to 25. Here we're twice the weight of any guitar you'll put on this and it's still doing great. There is a little bit of sag in the guitar hanger compared to 12 and a half pounds, but it's really not bad. From here, I started adding five pounds at a time. I started getting a little nervous at 35 pounds. Look at that sag. I couldn't stop there. Five at a time, I got up to 50 and added the last two and a half pounds to get to 52 and a half. Honestly, I can't believe it held. That's four times more than any guitar, unless you decided to make the body out of titanium. After I removed the last weight, I checked to see if the hanger took any deformation. It doesn't look to spring back quite to where it started, but it did hold a lot of weight and it still holds a guitar just fine. Well, there you go, the Lakato Locking Guitar Hanger. Overall, I think this thing is a great buy. It looks good, is easy to install, and more importantly, will safely hold your guitar. Don't know about you, but I will be grabbing a couple more for around the studio. Link in description. Hopefully the video helped you out. If it did, hit that like button down there below. It really helps me out a lot. And if you want to check out more of my videos on gear reviews, tips and tricks, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon. But hey, until next time, rock on.